I finally decided to upgrade my 3D printer and in this video I'm going to show you the coolest upgrade I've designed so far. Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing and I use a Creality CR10 for quite a while now and I decided to upgrade it a bit. Before we start, I have to mention this disclaimer. With this upgrade, you are modifying the hot end of a 3D printer and use this at your own risk. So if your print fails, uh, your printer breaks, or if you burn your house down, um, I cannot be held responsible. So uh, always use common sense and everything will, will be fine. Yeah, how it all started. I uh, for one upgrade, I needed to extend the uh, the cables, and I saw these um, cable extensions on a Chinese website. And while browsing, I stumbled upon a very cool laser cutter. And yeah, I initially thought that yeah, what can you do with a laser cutter? But for forty bucks, yeah, what the heck? I just bought it and see what I could do. There's one thing with the laser cutter that um, it must be mounted on, uh, on the extruder shroud with uh, four uh, magnets and I didn't think it was yes, uh, sturdy enough so to hold because if you yeah if it moves with the cable then um, yeah a minor adjustment can yeah, screw up your your laser cut uh, especially when it's uh, a fine detail. Yeah, I had to come up with some sort of mounting system. And then I realized that I have uh, this old but decent uh, camera tripod. So it's open and you can put a camera here. And when you release it, uh, this bit pushes it down. This thing is older than I am. So it's, it's very old then. So I thought, why not use that for a, a 3D printer? Uh, because it it works. It has proven itself, and it's very easy to mount the camera and unmount it. I came up with this design. It's a, a block with a lever, and this is some yeah the same uh, mounting system as the uh, camera tripod. What I did different is that this is. Uh, a point so if it uh, play is if it's placed uh, on here then it's always placed back in the same position and you can rotate this lever so if I double click this um, and you can see if I rotate this then this part this part uh, pushes down so it fixates the block so I can enable the block so and you can see it pressing down and then it holds. It's placed on the existing mounting plate. You can use the existing bolts to mount this. Yeah, you don't need anything uh, extra. I have printed one. It's printed out of nylon and it's well very strong. I recommend it uh, printing it out of nylon or PETG. It must be strong. The things you don't need, the base block, the lever, M4 by 16 or longer bolt i think this is uh, 20 uh, a nut and a washer and that's it now first you put in the the top two bolts like so and then you place it on the existing plate divider and the roller so like that oh <laughs> Yeah. Let's do it the other way around. Yes. When mounting this, uh, be sure that you have the uh, this bolt the other way around than these two. So the uh, head of the bolt is on pointing that direction. Because if you place it the other way around and place the nut on this side, then it will collide. Uh, here so don't do that okay 
So if you rotate this, then the position of the roller uh, changes. So with this you uh, press the roller against the bottom of this uh, gantry. And now fastening it, but this nut is rotating with it, and that's easy to solve. But first, uh, you can see there is some uh, room here, and this must be uh, tight. So that's why the where this eccentric collar is for. Now there is room. Now there isn't a room and there isn't. Don't tighten this uh, too much because the friction will increase then. Um, now the issue of the rotating nut. Uh, you can solve it easy by uh, just placing a, uh, a screwdriver or well, just something thing flat in between here. And that's just enough to hold it in place. One piece of advice, print the mount first before uh, creating this. It speaks for itself, but uh, once you have mounted this and you don't have a mount for your nozzle, yeah, it's quite hard to print a mount for your nozzle. Okay, with this upgrade you can easily remove uh, your printer nozzle and then add a laser engraver. And after engraving, you can just put back your uh, your printer nozzle and start 3D printing. So, yeah, I think that's that's awesome. And of course, there are you can add more tools. Uh, for example, this uh, die grinder. In uh, future videos, I will go further into these uh, kind of tools. Uh, to see what we can uh, do with them, uh, what kind of software I use to, to control the laser engraver and this, uh, this die grinder. I re recommend uh, staying up to date by subscribing and uh, press the notification button and you will not be disappointed.